Yo, 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 what's good with it, y'all? It's your boy Lamborghini Prime back once again talking this boxing shit. And of course, as always, you already know, make sure if you fuck with me to stop by my official website, hustlegameboss.com, and check out my all new album, It's My Turn, The Throne Ascension LP. It's a motherfucking classic. And if you, um,. Don't happen to make it there, you can always check it out on, you know, iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, Title. Big shout out to Title, of course. Um, Pandora, shout out to Pandora. Um, shit, just basically anywhere you enjoy music, whichever outlet you so choose, I'm definitely going to be there. All you have to do is search the Supreme General as you're enjoying that particular outlet. Now, on to the video. This one right here is going to be my breakdown and prediction of the upcoming fight between my man Arislan De Lara, the current WBA super champion at 154, and Jared Hurd, the current IBF champion at 154. It's a unification fight. It's my kind of shit. Two of the top dogs at the highest level doing their thing. Now, um, let's get to it. When it comes to my man Lara, man, skill-wise, he's... Head and shoulders above Jared Hurd in almost every way. He has more foot speed. He has a quicker jab, better jab, better movement, better head movement, better defense, just better all that shit. But in this fight, I don't think I think time is gonna be catching up to him. I don't think I don't think he'll be able to survive Jared Hurd's youth and pressure. I believe Jared Hurd may take a page out of the Angulo book and just smother. Lara, you know what I'm saying? Because Jared Hurd got some pop, man. He don't get credit for his pop, but he definitely got some. And uh, with that being with that being the case, and the fact that Lara is advanced in age, I believe that the first half of the fight will be all Lara. But it will start to get interesting around five, six, you know, the fifth, sixth round. Around that point, that's when you're going to start to see Jared Hurd's youth start to take over and um benefit him more than uh lara's experience because i mean lara of course he'll be able to keep him off him for a little while but as soon as her starts landing and you know he's just gonna have more in the tank at the end of the day in my opinion and plus lara can't be doing the, his usual style where he run where i, I hate to say running because that's not what it is but where he moves so much that it it, it puts the judges in a position where they give the round to the other guy because it appears to them that he's just running away from confrontation and not trying to engage and what, i mean because it's a fine line between you know being elusive defensively and being looked at like so yeah like i said lara's youth i mean excuse me lara's experience is not gonna it's not going to be as beneficial in this fight because I believe Hurd is young, hungry, and he's a champion, but I feel like he feel like he's the underdog and that type of thing when you have a younger guy and the old versus an old lion, it can really really overwhelm the older guy. And that's what I expect, you know? If Lara was the, were the if Lara actually beats Jared Hurd, it would really really thoroughly impress me. And after that, I couldn't pick against him again, but Given his age, given the level of attrition and the amount of wars he's been in, because I mean, I know it's not really he don't really get the credit for it. But Lara has definitely been in some wars. That Angulo fight was raw. That was rough. That was rough for him. And um, shit, the Paul Williams fight. There's a couple other fights that where, you know. He got touched up in a few of them, you know, so I do expect once Lara start land, I mean, uh, her start landing them bombs on him, it could be, it could be one of those nights where uh, either Lara gets stopped or he just gets beat on a 12 round decision because he got dropped a couple times. So, in my opinion, if it goes 12, Lara has a chance, but, um, shit, man, it's going to be tough, man. It's not going to be easy for him. So, like I said, man, I'm going to go with my man Jared Hurd to win by either TKO stoppage because I don't think he's going to knock Lara out. But I definitely think he's going to drop him in this fight. And he should win by either TKO stoppage or a 12-round decision. All right, y'all, I'm on to the next. Holler at me, 100.